Okay. Yeah. You can uh, say middle school. Okay. The middle school started with over 600 students competing to qualify for the finals. After many runoffs, the field was narrowed down to 62 students. Students of the 62, 50 received honorable mention cer certificates as quarter finalists. The remaining 12 semifinalists advanced to the finals. Very good, thank you. We don't need this now. Four score and seven years ago, our fourth, our forefathers brought forth this continent. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm going to still talk. We have a meeting at the uh, community center. Can you hear me good, Dick? Okay. Is that me? Can they hear me on... Uh... Good afternoon. We are here live at Timberlane Regional Middle School, located in beautiful downtown Plastow, New Hampshire. Today, the middle school is conducting the final rounds of the annual spelling bee. This is the seventh annual Timberlane Regional Middle School spelling bee, which is sponsored by the Atkinson Lions Club. This is also the this is also the first year we are live on our local cable TV. My name is Tom White, president of the Lions, and also I started this bee seven years ago with our assistant, with now our assistant, super, assistant superintendent of the school, well, principal of the middle school, Mr. Dick Pugier. While we are waiting to begin the final runoffs, let me explain how the procedure is done. The junior high started over with over 700 students competing to qualify for the finals. After many runoffs, the field was down, narrowed down to 62 students. Of the 62, 50 will receive honorable mention certificates as quarter finalists. The remaining 12 semi-finalists advanced to the finals. The 12 semi-finalists were made up of two students from each the 6th, 7th, and 8th grades from both the green and blue teams. Of the 12 finalists, nine will receive handsome semi-finalist lion plaques and the final three will receive trophies. Today's overall winner will advance to the county spelling bee on April 5th at Methuen High School in Methuen, Mass. From there, if, if successful, will advance to the state, then the nationals in Washington, D.C. 
The audience today, including you at home, will be made up of fellow students, parents, grandparents, and teachers. We have about 200 in attendance today and, all the an and are all anxious for the program to begin. At the conclusion of the program, the chairman for the Spelling Bee and past president of the Atkinson Alliance Club, Mr. Carmen Maglia, will, be, will make the awards along with the other alliance attending. I would like to thank the entire cable TV committee under the direction of Mike Terrell for doing a super job, which includes Barbara Snyder, Dick Wood, Art Hickson, Joe DeRosa, Jim Miller. It looks like we are about ready to get underway, so at this time, I'm going to turn the entire procedure over to our principal of the middle school, Mrs. Judy Deshaies. The only time we have a tiebreaker is when we have two people at the end. If one of the people misspells the word, then the next person has to spell it correctly and spell the next word correctly as well. If they don't do that, then a new word goes back to the second person. So you'll have to be you know, listening really carefully along with us. We're ready anytime you are. Thank you. We'd like to welcome you to this final round of our annual spelling bee. I would like to introduce first the students who are finalists and ask them to stand as I say their names. Carrie Dorenzo, Tim Peavy, Nicholas Doucet, excuse me, Nicole Doucet, Scott DePippo, Elgin Booth, Jen LaChance, Jennifer Fedorovich, Jason Giard, Heidi Roberts, Julie Tardiff, Robin Reynolds, and Stacy Wilson. These are our finalists. Thank you. You may be seated. I would also like to introduce the faculty members who have participated up to this point in the preliminary rounds of our spelling bee. We have our language arts teachers, Mrs. Ann Day, Mrs. Lois Paul, Mrs. Jane Berrigan, Mr. John Gatos, Mrs. Annie Young, Mrs. Sue Nzenga, Mrs. Joanne Anderson, and Mrs. Sandy O'Neill. Mrs. O'Neill is also the school spelling bee coordinator who puts in a tremendous amount of time and energy to help this event take place. The pronouncer for the spelling bee today will be myself. The judge will be Mr. James Nelson, assistant principal. The dictionary and definitions expert will be Mrs. Trudy Baldwin, who is our librarian and media specialist. The decision of the judges will be final. If we are in doubt as to how the student has actually spelled the word, we will ask them to repeat it, and they will be on their honor not to make any changes. We will only ask them to repeat it if we simply did not hear what they said. It will not be to allow them a chance to change the spelling. Anyone have any questions on the procedure we're going to follow? Everyone understand the rules? Any questions? Okay. Once again, a reminder, if we do ask you to repeat the spelling because we didn't hear you, then you're on your honor not to change what you said. Okay? Does everyone understand that? Good. Okay, let's get started then. <clears throat> One last thing I'd like to do also is to introduce the Lions members who are here who are sponsoring this spelling bee, which is from the Atkinson Lions Club. We have Mr. Tom White, who you've already seen, who is the president. We have Carmen Maglia, who is the chairman of the spelling bee committee. Mr. Maglia? We have Dick Magoon, who is past president been with us for several years, bringing this event to us. Mr. Jim Miller, also a past president of the Atkinson Lions Club, Mr. Miller. Also Art Hickson and Dick Wood, who are members of the Atkinson Lions Club. I'd like to thank you, gentlemen, for helping to bring this event to us. You will be hearing more from the Lions at the end of the event when we present the trophies, but let's get started now to find out who's going to win them. Wholesome, W-H-O-L-E-S-O-M-E, -E. Wholesome. Newcastle, 
Newscaster. N E W S C A S T E R. Newscaster. Persuade. Persuade. P E R S U A D E. Persuade. Bargain. Bargain. B A R G A I N. Bargain. Dangerous. Dangerous. D A D A N G E R O U S. Fabric. F A B R I C. Fabric. Ruffled. Ruffled. R U F F L E D. Ruffled. Leotard. Leotard. L E A T R A D. Leotard. Charcoal. Charcoal. C H A R C O A L. Charcoal. Appealed. Appealed. A P P E A L E D. Appealed. Innkeeper. Innkeeper. I N N K E E P E R. Innkeeper. Ignore. I G N O R E. Ignore. Okay, this is just a reminder to all of you and to the audience, too, that the next round is the beginning of the round that counts. So just take a deep breath, repeat the word, and do your best. Good luck. <laughs> Geography. What is the word? Geography. Geography. G E O G R A P H Y. Geography. Occupied. Occupied. O C C U P I E D. Occupied. Suddenness. S U D D E N E S S. Suddenness. Hazardous. Hazardous. H A Z O U R D O U S. Hazardous. Disappoint. D I S S A P O I N T. Disappoint. Appealed. Appealed. A P P E A L E D. Appealed. Encouraged. E N C O Encouraged. E N C O U R A G E D. Encouraged. Majority. M A J O R I T Y. Majority. Yardage. Yardage. Y A R D. A G E yardage. Generally. Generally. G E N E R A L L Y. Generally. Right. 
Calendar. Calendar. C A L E N D A R. Calendar. Bigot. Can you repeat the word, please? Bigot. Bigot. B I G G O T. Bigot. Delicious. D E L I C I O U S. Delicious. Equation. Equation. E Q U A S I O N. Equation. Intercept. Intercept. I N T E R C E P T intercept. Jamboree. Jamboree. J A M B O R E E. Jamboree. Right. Orphan. Orphan. O R P H A N. Orphan. Anthem. A N T H E M. Anthem. Heroic. Heroic. H E R O I C. Heroic. And that's the end of our second round. Seizure. S E I Z U R E. Seizure. Teammate. Teammate. T E A M M A T E. Teammate. Vaguely. Vaguely. V A G. U E L Y vaguely. Pulse beat. Pulse beat. P U L S E B E A T. Pulse beat. Literate. Literate. L I T. E R A T E Kilowatt Kilowatt K I L L O W A T T Kilowatt Incorrect Quarterly Quarterly Q U A R T E R L Y Quarterly D-E-M-N. Condemn. Deceitful. Deceitful. D-E-C-E-I-T-F-U-L. Deceitful. Hideous. 
Hideous. H-I-D-E-O-U-S. Hideous. Illustrate. I-L-L-A-S-T-R-A-T-E. Illustrate. H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H. Flexibility. F L E X I B I L I T Y. Flexibility. Replaceable. Replaceable. R E P L A C E A B L E. Replaceable. Sanitary. S A N I T A R Y. Sanitary. Worrisome. Worrisome. W O R R I E S O M. Worrisome. Incorrect. Vanquish. V A N Q U I S H. Vanquish. Um, congratulations. We're at the sixth round. We now have four people left. So breathe deeply. <coughs> Perjury. Perjury. P E R. J U R Y perjury. Receivable. Receivable. R E C I E V E A B L E. Can you repeat that? Diphtheria. D. D uh, dip, diphtheria. D. <coughs> y P H E R I A. Diphtheria. That's incorrect. I didn't. Alphabetical. A L P H A Alphabetical. A L P H A B E T I C A L. Alphabetical. Okay, we've reached that special point where we have two people. Carrie and Robin will be our finalists. If in the next round, Carrie <coughs> happens to miss a word, Robin needs to spell that word correctly, plus spell another word correctly after that in order to win. Congrats. Good luck. Quadrangle. Quadrangle. Q-U-A-D. 
R A N G L E quadrangle. All right. Privileged. Privileged. P R I V I L A G E D. Privileged. Privileged. P R I V I L E G E D. Privileged. Correct. That was her word. Now you have to spell your own word. Your word is nocturnal. Nocturnal. N O C. T U R N A L, nocturnal. That's correct. <laughs> okay, congratulations to all of you. It takes a lot of hard work, and it's also really scary being up here looking at all these people watching you spell. Um, we will be presenting trophies and plaques to all the people who have participated here today, as well as giving out certificates to our um, quarter finalists. We'll be doing that in the classroom. And there will also be certificates for the hundreds of other kids who have also participated in the classroom-wide activities. This has really been a school-wide um, activity, and I'm really glad to see that we've got such good spellers. Mr. White, would you like to do the honors? Presenting the awards will be Carmen Maglia, the chairman of the Spelling Bee Committee, Mr. Tom White, and Mr. Dick Magoon from the Atkinson Lions Club. On behalf of the Atkins Alliance Club, uh, we're proud to present awards to the following, uh, starting with the 11th runner-up. We'll be giving out nine plaques and three trophies. The 11th runner-up is Nicole Doucette. Next, Scott DePipio. DePipo? Sorry, Scott. Elgin Booth. <laughs> Stacy Wilson. <laughs> Jen Lachance. <laughs> Julie Tata. <laughs> Heidi Roberts. Jason G.I. Tim Peavy. Jennifer Fedorovich. Robin Reynolds. And our winner, Gary. DiRienzo. <laughs> Last but not least. Okay, today we have awarded over 50 quarterfinalist certificates 
nine semifinalist plaques, and three overall trophies. The certificates will all be given out later. All right. Um, this is my seventh year participating in the B. Back when our now superintendent of schools, Dick Vijayev, and I introduced the program seven years ago, it was exciting and still today is more, and more exciting than ever. And I think, you know, I not only attribute this to the students, but to the excellent staff and especially the English department under the total direction of Principal Judy Deshaies and B coordinator Sandy O'Neill. Let's have a big round of applause for the entire staff. <laughs> Seven years ago, it was the first for us introducing the program. Seven years later, we're live on cable TV. Uh, we have a uh, big thanks goes to the ta uh, cable TV committee under the total direction of Chairman Mike Terrell. We have producer Barbara Snyder, Barbara. On the big board, Dick Wood over there. Cameraman, Ann Selectman from Atkinson, Joe DeRosia. Joe. My other cameraman from the Atkinson Lions, Art Hickson. Okay, our winner today, Carrie. Incidentally, I was here two years ago, and Carrie was the sixth grade winner. So I think she deserves an extra round of applause winning this thing. <laughs> Kerry will compete in the County B, which will be held on April 5th, Methuen High School, Methuen, Mass. If successful, we'll continue to the state and then to the National B in the nation's capital in June. Good luck, Kerry. In behalf of the Atkinson Alliance Club, I would like to congratulate our finalists, semi-finalists, quarter-finalists, and most of all, the entire student body who participated in this B. You guys all did a great job. And last but not least, what we filmed here today can be seen on cable TV, Atkinson at least, I know. I hope it gets to Plasso and the other towns. Danville too, thank you. It will be broadcast Friday night at 7.30, Saturday night at 7 o'clock, and Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Now, we did the Atkinson Academy Monday. The Atkinson Academy will go on first, and the middle, you guys in the middle school will go on right afterwards. And it's a terrific program. Thank you all, and good luck to be one of you. <laughs> On behalf of all the students and staff at the middle school, we'd like to thank the Atkinson Lions once again for their generous sponsorship of this event. Good luck to Carrie as she moves on to the county and state and hopefully national championships. Her parents are here watching today. Congratulations for a two-time winner. It's the first time that's ever happened. We hope that she'll continue her winning ways. I'd also like to congratulate all of you students for being such an attentive audience. Um, thank you very much. We will be sending you back to classes now so that you can uh, get your things in time for the buses. Thank you.